Oh, hello. Kaboom. 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 Boom. Boom. Shake the room. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming, and this is Hearts of Iron 4. Do you know what nation in Hearts of Iron 4 starts off? That's right, 936, Italy, led by the incompetent Mussolini. But you'll notice one thing about Hearts of Iron 4 in Italy and their focus tree. Where is the Italian incompetence? Where is the lack of leadership? Where is the lack of military flair? It looks like it's going to be my responsibility to add that. Let us make Italy rubbish. Here we go. Marvelous. So the question is this. How do we reflect an incompetent Italy? How do we lower Italy down to a level that is historically accurate? That's right. This is a historically accurate game. Now, I love Italy. Don't give me shit about Italy. I love Italy. But we need to reflect Italy as the shithole it was in 936. Tealkey, debug, underscore, new king, voila. And then we click on a state, single province, and oh, hello. Kaboom, 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 boom, boom, shake the room. Is it an Italian core territory? Yes. Well, then it gets a delicious nuke, boom, right on that province. Every single state, every single province completely and utterly nuked. What is the consequences of Italy completely carpet bombed with nuke? What is the impact? Will I be able to retrieve this situation and actually make Italy actually exist in World War II and actually be able to stand a chance in North Africa as well as the world? Well, you better wait and see then, huh? Many nukes later and you're thinking, Hang on, what's changed? This all looks completely fine. There's no issues here whatsoever. Dave, you've tricked us. Well, just wait and see. We'll go three speed, on pause, and... Woof. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> So the entirety of Italy has been nuked, but there's a, a limited amount of nuclear explosions could be rendered on the screen at one time. And uh, to stop the game from lagging to a crawl, it, uh, it has disabled them. But look, all the areas everywhere, even the areas without smoke clouds, has been hit. And uh, let's look at the construction screen. Oh, yeah. Military factories. Oh, yeah. They're all broke. Uh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, this reeks of incompetence. This is exactly what we wanted. Historical game, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's done a number on the planes too. Zero, zero, zero. No air force for Italy. Historical game, by the way. The Navy is, yeah, Navy's still intact. A big whack-off death stack for Mussolini. On the other hand, the divisions, uh, they're badly bruised and broken. Oh, well. I'm not sure if you've heard of this fantastic tactic, and that tactic is called spam lots of artillery. Because artillery is ridiculously strong, and it doesn't require any fuel. And and also, have you heard about spamming cast in the Alps? It's pretty strong. I'll show you. You could class... This is pretty much an exploit versus the AI. Because the AI never quite understands why you do this. Oh, you'll see. And you'll understand. Ships, on the other hand... Yeah, we don't need those anymore. Convoys... That'll do just fine. Ah, now we begin the construction of, well, nothing, because we have no military factories. How do we fix that? Well, we hop into here, then we move up all the sieves to the top, because we need to repair the sieves first. But remember, we have no sieves to repair our sieves. So how do we fix sieves when we don't have any? Well, luckily, the game's got a failsafe for that, because you do gain some passive repair over time, and eventually these will very slowly repair themselves. While we wait, though, why don't we get hold of a few civilian factories as well? So what we'll do is release Eritrea and Somaliland. Release as puppets. And Somali. Release. And pop into here. Ethiopian logistics bypass. Oh, yeah. And four civilian factories? Don't mind if I do. On the other hand, let's get everyone here and let's start bashing into some mountains because... That's what Italians do in Ethiopia, right? The key to this strategy is to produce, of course, but then also to focus on planes as well. Battlefield support is the route we will go down. We are going to pull competence out of the incompetent. Flipping hell to heaven, if if that's how you ever want to see Italy. That'll do just fine. Local police force, focus on garrisons a little bit in Libya. And that looks pretty good for now. The atomic bombing of Rome? You don't say. And Sardinia, the most two important places in Italy, apparently. Because all of our ports have been completely flattened, there's no supply here either. Oh dear. Now we sit on our hands and wait for the passive repair of plus 5% per day. Very slowly repairing this mess. You know, I can't read the comment section, but I automatically know you guys are loving this, aren't you? A historical Italy? If you agree, say in the comments, Hey Dave, I really love this historical game. This is exactly what happened in World War II. And then when people come to this video, they'll be convinced this is actually Italy in World War II. The comments never lie, right? Who would lie on the internet? You really think 
someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Factories aren't complete. More factories. And now we actually have some repairs. No, actually we don't. Those four civilian factories, I they vaporize into thin air. I guess they've gone towards consumer goods. I didn't realize that's how it worked. So yeah, <laughs> four civilian factories. No, zero. We're back to zero. From zero to zero, we're still on zero. Meanwhile, in Europe, uh, front line on the Alps. Yep, that looks right. General, anyone will do. And then we justify on, of all nations, Romania. Oh, it'll make sense. Just wait and see. So the carpet bombing of nukes has had an added side effect, and that's uh, war support in Italy has hit an all-time low. Italian people are like... I just want to stay at home and eat spaghetti. Hey, supplies appeared out of nowhere, and we actually have some production now. So it looks like simultaneously the entire list has repaired one point, which has given us enough supply. But unfortunately, the divisions are battered and bruised from all the attrition. So attacking is l not likely. But that doesn't mean we're not going to try. Let's attempt the bash my head against the mountains of Ethiopia strategy. This is probably how the Americans fell in Afghanistan. The second part of the plan is to spam lots and lots and lots of cast and make sure they all train to level three. Off we go. It starts. <gasps> Look at this, actual production. And import some rubber. Production, production, and actually making civilian factories. Hallelujah. The dark age has ended. Now, I just want you to think about this for a second. So, about 200 nukes were dropped on the Italian peninsula, and it's only taken me roughly six months to kind of, like, get some industry back. I just want you to get your mind around that. Second wave. Off you go. Ethiopia is puppeted. And then we can skip Triumph of Africa. It is time for the trusty 7-2. Bam, boom. It's been 18 months now, and all we have now is broken roads. When will they fix those potholes, eh? One thing that hasn't changed is Yog has submitted. Hmm. Time for air production. 10% discount? Don't mind if I do. Justification on Romania is complete. Get the air in position, close air support, air superiority. And this is the key point. For some bizarre reason, the AI doesn't like to put planes in the Alpine region. So, you do. And because you've got so much cast, you'll see what I mean. Declare on Romania, guaranteed by France. That's a lot of red. And straight away, they bash their head against the Alps. French, so predictable. Baguette versus pasta, who is stronger? Comment below. And the casualties they're sustaining here are just absolutely brutal. Oh my God, look at that. Oof. At the same time, Cass dropping some serious amount of bombs on those mountains. Avalanche, you say? Yes, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Sardinia, Dave. You're going to say, Libya, Dave. Trust me, this is all part of the plan. Sit your ass down. So the entirety of the front line is getting hit here. They're hitting on every single point. So at the moment, things are going to plan. Just let them bash their head against me. It's working. Trust me. The United Kingdom has joined the war. Could things get any worse? What is happening here? Dave, was this part of the plan? Now, we might be at war with half the world right now. But one thing that hasn't changed is the French advance on the Alpines or not so advance. Fire lots of bullets. Take lots of casualties. Is, but do not move a single step forward. Okay, infantry specialist and a defense specialist. We don't want this attack to stop, so let's bait them forward. Select half, fall back line, control B and move them back. Let's bait them into attacking us. Let's make sure they keep attacking us. Because right now, as you can see, the strength of the division, see that orange bar? Yeah, things aren't going too well. They're losing a lot of casualties and they're losing so much equipment. How many casualties, you ask? Quarter of a million. How much equipment, you ask? Uh, 15,000 guns. Ouch. And when it comes down to rubber production, we have to look through a big list of gray. And then we have the nation in the middle, the glorious nation, the one that will restore balance to the force, Belgium. Build a little bit of air XP now. And of course, you know what you do with your air XP, don't you? That's right, range it is. So here's a little trick here. Get your air wings over the Alpine, assign them to this air region, Tell them to do air superiority and close air support. And also give them more air crews to give them more air efficiency. Goody, goody gumdrops. Now, you're going to hold shift and left click on pilot exercises. Now, the ones that aren't level 3 will exercise to level 3. But get this, when they're done exercising, they'll resume the order you gave them before. So that means they'll do either close air support or air superiority in the region that they've assigned. So now you've got a beautifully automized air force. Isn't that nice? And they have stopped attacking. Well, kind of. Let's move a few more back. We'll have a really naked front line. See, they're all pushing into me right now. It's because we've decided to move. We've lost our entrenchment. The AI has seen this as an opportunity to attack. If this doesn't work, removing divisions off the front line, Try exercising. It'll drop your orc really low, and the AI might think, hmm, this is an easy battle we can win. Not. Now have a single division across the entirety of the front, and get this, we're still holding. Full air control, one division across the front line. They've stopped attacking us. Oh, no, you don't. Exercise. <laughs> and then they attack us again. Ah, good. 
Now, don't worry, you're probably going to lose a few mountain tiles here. It really isn't a big deal. Time for a little bit of reconnaissance and uh, support artillery. Yeah, why not? All right, get you lads over the front line. Off you go. It is time for the counteroffensive. And then we've got a second army that's going to punch through to the north. In this circumstance, it is better if they push you back to the Alpine region. That way you can use your full air support to stage your counteroffensive. And look how beaten and bad these divisions are. This is going to go horrendously badly for them. War support is zero. Yeah, let's do something about that. Balance attack. Off you go. And with full air support, we'll be able to chip away at them and slowly and truly push them back. And we got them on the run. Max that range and start working on the engine now and start upgrading the existing planes we've got. Get impatient now and let's go aggressive. Um, AI is doing that weird bug again where it abandons its front lines. Not complaining. Making a gradual walk to Paris, you know. Not a care in the world. That division just makes its own little journey. Oh, Britain, really? Do you have to be that guy? Oh, but then, then no. <laughs> Oh, wait, they're walking out of Paris. Can I just walk in? Yep, hi. Vichy France is going to appear now. I know it is. Just to cuck me. Gee, thanks, Germany. Even though I'm not even in the Axis. Ah, so you have a say on my occupied territory, do you, Germany? Huh? Huh? Uh, there's an easy way around this. All we do is just defy on them. 20 days. I think that looks pretty good. And surround them. And just before we declare war, we'll join the Axis. Join the Axis. Declare war. Attack. Be aggressive. Vichy France is now Italy. Again. Nom, 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 nom. The next step, the bombardment of the English Channel. Interception. Naval strike. Do the dirty. And it starts. German Republic has joined the United Kingdom and a civil war <laughs> inside of Germany. <laughs> All right. This is a rare event. So Mr. H has been shot and we have a German Republic. Interesting. Naval invasions become a lot easier when uh, the AI just abandons their ports. Bring the fleet forward. Off we go. We have a new leader of the German Reich, and it is Hermann Göring. Less optimistic about the German future, guys. No mustache. No good. Can't be dealing with this rubbish anymore. I got bigger fish to fry. The UK. Able invasion. Off you go. And it's easy. It's just as easy as that. Magic. Dover is empty. And Bristol, Plymouth. London is empty. Oh, wow. Okay. Open goal. Winner, winner. Off you go. Be aggressive. Don't mess around. The fall of London. That was effortless. Just beeline to the victory points. Hopefully in circle within Wales. There we go. And rip. Biggest war score, of course, is Italy. Who deserves it the most? Nuked to a Bolivian built from the ground up. Done. We have a new world order because we don't need to be in the Axis anymore. Leave. And there's only one thing left to do, and that is construction repair. And piece by piece by piece, we rebuild everything we've destroyed as well as all our old infrastructure as well. You get the idea. Well, there you go. Nuclear oblivion for Italy isn't even that bad. Mussolini, by golly, you did it. Oh, muted is. I guess not. Hey, you made it to the end. Congrats. To show my commitment, I will heart every single comment on this video. Every single one.